Sydney team by 42 points. We look at the stats and we see that Essendon on top in all departments, excepting as Peter McKenna pointed out, the free kicks, the Swans doing quite nicely there, thank you, 37 to 19. In the goals at Windy Hill this afternoon for Essendon, Van der Haar got three and a number of players finishing up with two goals, and for the Swans, uh, Dan and Kevin Bartlett, who saw the game, Pete, what difference did it make to the Swans when Barry Round came back onto the ground? Well, it made an enormous difference when Barry Round came on the ground. I'll let Kevin talk about that in a moment. But Essendon started off the game in magnificent fa fashion. In fact, they were seven or eight goals in front halfway through the uh, second quarter. And I honestly believe they were going to win by about 15 goals because Neagle was having a great day. Mark Harvey was killing him up forward. Uh, Glenn Hawker was doing well. Uh, Roger Merritt was uh, playing brilliant football. But Kev full marks to the Swans because they didn't toss it in. In fact, they really kept with Essendon for the rest of the game, didn't they? I agree with that, Peter. Actually, I thought uh, Essendon was on the way to a record score, but Mark Browning playing his turn. Of the game. applied the pressure early. Two of their stars were these two, Merritt and Neagle. This time Merritt does the roving work. Goes in, gets it, comes out and shoots well for goal. For Welcome back, Baron of that. Exactly he may forget, roving. or want to forget, this snap. Oh, <laughs> he hasn't got within 30 metres of the oh, goal. Barry Round. That was a shot. Welcome back anyway, shot. Barry. Here's Terry Danaher, showing great Danaher. recovery powers. Grabbed by Terry Danaher. He hooks it back. Just some of the highlights from the first three games of Round 11 and our winner for...